Hello everyone. Uh, I am Suryamani Behra. Uh, I am pursuing my PhD uh, in NIT Raurkula in the Department of Civil Engineering. Uh, I am going to summarize the book Pale Blue Dot, uh, A Vision of the Human Future in Space. It was written by Carl Edward Sagan. So first of all, uh, uh, before going to the Pale Blue Dot, we should know about the history of history behind this um, uh, project. Um, it is known that the longest uh, direct non-stop flight in the world today is 18 hours and 40 minutes, which is traveling 15,347 kilometers from New York to Singapore. In the further journey away from the Earth, Apollo 13 took around three days to reach the moon, uh, traveling 4,171 kilometers away from Earth. But there is one more journey that blows the previous journey straight out of the water, the journey of the Voyager 1. So how it was discovered first, we'll, uh, I'll say about it. First, NASA discovered that the four planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, shown in the figure, they will be aligned in such a way that a spacecraft could be used, uh, could use the gravity of each planet to swing on the, swing, to swing on to the next one. The, this type of alignment occurs once in, in 175 years. So this was particularly an opportunity uh, to reach these uh, planets um, easily. Uh, so to, um, uh, to achieve this, they, um, they started a project, they named it as Voyager. Uh, that's how the Voyager project was initiated in, the, uh, in 1965. The journey of Voyager 1, uh, this is a NASA spacecraft now for when I am making this video, it is 22.8 billion kilometers away from the Earth and still in transit for almost 44, 44 years. It first uh, it was launched on 19 uh, in 1977 to explore the planets Jupiter and Saturn only, not Uranus and Neptune. The space the spacecraft arrived at Jupiter on 5th March 1979 and Saturn on 12th November 1980. After taking the observation of the, of the planets, uh, when it uh, it was returning, uh, when it is returning, the scientists thought the scientists thought that we, we can extend it further. So um, the observation from the Voyager one forced the scientists and astronomers to rewrite the astronomical books. So after that, uh, when we when the scientists uh, decided to extend the journey of Voyager one. Uh, uh, Voyager 1, uh, they, they um, enhanced its capability. After Voyager, Voyager 1 changed its trajectory to travel in a, uh, another direction, Voyager 2 was deployed uh, to, uh, to observe the other two planets that are Uranus and Neptune. Now, uh, Carl Edward Sagan, um, on his request or at the request of this scientist, Carl Edward Sagan, NASA, decided to turn the camera of the Voyager 1 to take a picture of Earth on 14th February 1990. After this picture was captured, the camera was shut down forever to reserve the spacecraft's energy. When this, uh, when the picture, this is the picture, you can see here um, a small dot is seen. So when Voyager 1 turned its camera and look, uh, took the picture of Earth, so the Earth was uh, represented by this small dot, pale, blue dot. So when this picture was covered, uh, uh, captured, Voyager 1 was about 6.4 billion kilometers away and appro approximately 32 degree above the elliptical plane. So now uh, the legacy of the image is uh, that it, in, uh, it has inspired the opposite response, uh, that is a deep recognition of Earth's importance, its fragility, its uniqueness. Um, uh, Earth appears as a blue dot in this photograph primarily because of the Rayleigh scattering of the sunlight in its atmosphere. Now what Carl Sagan uh, observed from this pale blue dot and how he related this to humanity, uh, he wrote in, in his book, The Pale Blue Dot. He pointed out the human history that happened on this tiny pixel, which is our only home. Um, Carl Sagan told that, uh, look at that 
dot again that's here that's home that's us on it everyone you love everyone you know everyone you ever heard of every human being who ever was lived out their lives the aggregate of our joy suffering thousands of confident religions ideologies and the economic doctrines every hunter forager every hero and a coward every creator and a destroyer of civilization every king and peasant every young couple in love every mother and father hopeful child inventor and explorer every teacher of morals every corrupt politician every superstar every supreme leader every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on this on a moat of dust suspended in in a sunbeam the earth is a very small stage in this in this vast cosmic arena think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals emperors so that in glory of glory and triumph they could become the mon mon monumentary masters of a fraction of a dot think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner how frequent their misunderstandings how eager they are to kill one another how fervent they hatreds on po our posturing our imagined self importance the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe are challenged by this point of pale light our planet is like is a lonely speck in the great enveloping enveloping cosmic dark in our obscurity in this all vastness there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save from our, from ourselves going to the next slide so from from summary from the book what i observed is uh, there are eight planets five dwarf planets many moons in our solar system there are other planets in the milky way galaxy which are not in our solar system there may be like this milky way galaxy there may be 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe and we are not able to observe all the universe yet in this vast universe the earth is very tiny but still we exist and we are able to observe the universe from our home so so now let's not screw up our home world by cooking our atmosphere and causing the climate change in that regard it is the sense that we only have one home mars is really not that hospitable we are able to reach it but we cannot settle there for now and neither is the moon we have found the um, so let's not screw up so finally uh, i can say that uh, we have one home world and we really do need to take care of it so 